I'm 28 years old and I'm at this weird age where I know most internet terms. I know most internet slang. But of course, every now and then, I come across something that I've heard before, but don't quite know exactly what it is. And today was one of those days. And I was streaming and one of my viewers was like, hey bro, you know what furries are? And I'm like, you know what? I've heard of them before, but I don't know too much about them. And I did kind of a little mini deep dive, if you will, like just went a little bit into the rabbit hole, kind of looked down into it a little bit, gazed down and saw to see if I would like what I saw. And I was kind of surprised because I wasn't expecting such a weird obsession around dressing up as cats and finding other people who also dress up as cats and becoming best friends with them turning it into a full-on obsession that's not the kind of vibe that i ever had growing up i didn't have any friends who were into dressing up and literally committing their entire existence into playing a character that to me seems weird especially considering how most of these furry cults happen over discord and video call pufferfish sent five bucks and he says hey will you ever make a video about your opinion on furries honestly i don't really even know what they are what the hell are furries let's find out together let's all it's all porn says pufferfish i really hope not because if it is i'm gonna be banned <laughs> That's not going to be good. Let's see. Is it gonna, okay, it's coming up, which means I guess it's not all porn. Furries fandom as a group are more politically liberal and less religious than the average American. Okay, that cannot be the actual definition of a furry. No. Okay, it's a subculture interested in anthropomorphic animal characters. Okay, so that's what it is. It's they're interested in anthropomorphic animal characters. Okay. Is it like a gender? I don't think... Gen I mean, I don't see any semblance of a gender here. I just see a lot of colors. I mean... Okay, before I criticize these guys, I want to actually find out more about them. To see if I should criticize them as harshly as I'm thinking right now. Or if I should be a little more chill. Because they're just doing their own thing. Okay, let's see. Let's talk about furries from saferschools.co.uk website. Okay. <laughs> I'm really curious as to what these guys have to say about this, actually. From saferschools.co.uk. What are furries? According to research from a range of sources, furries are people who have an active interest in animal characters with human characteristics. Okay, that's like about as boring an explanation as they could have ever given. Okay, that was such a boring sentence. I mean, I it was so boring, I literally tuned out as I was reading it. Bro. Okay, I'm going to see if the rest of the article is actually a little more entertaining or if the person who wrote this actually wrote it with their eyes closed and to try to make it as boring as possible. So there have been rumors, claims, and hoaxes about students... Uh, in the UK, identifying as cats and engaging in disruptive behavior, such as crawling on all fours and demanding litter boxes be placed in toilets. So, <laughs> what? What? These stories have been picked up and reported on by various news broadcasters. Many of them use the term furries when referring to these students. So, okay. So kids are demanding litter boxes be placed in toilets. Bro, the second you ask for that, you're literally asking for trouble. Nobody is going to listen to you. No matter what you want, if you demand litter boxes be put in toilets, every other sentence that comes out of your mouth is automatically void. Because I can never forget that you just asked me for something so stupid in all seriousness. And no matter what you say... I'm gonna, in the back of my head, be like, but this person asked me for that. Yeah, that's like a lifelong judgment right there you got on yourself. Okay, but they're also saying... Okay, yeah, sorry, I, I apologize. Yeah, Alex is right. This was a hoax, apparently. 
But is it a hoax? Okay, let, let, let's keep reading to see if it actually is. As the topic of furries is very niche and claimed to be misrepresented by popular media, it can be easy to identify the two together. So apparently the kids who were dressing up as cats were not actual furries, okay? They were just a bunch of idiots who demanded litter box be placed in toilets. Okay, no matter who you are, in the future, whether you're a furry or not, if you ask for litter boxes to be placed in the toilets in school, I'm gonna for, I'm gonna remember that for the rest of your life. I'm gonna judge you any time I talk to you, a hundred percent. Anyway, it's difficult to ascertain their validity, bro. Who? What kind of fucking PhD guy wrote this? He's like, I want the people who who read this to have to fucking go to the dictionary after reading it. It's like it's difficult to ascertain their validity. Just fucking speak in, like, fifth grade English, man. It's so much easier. You don't got to make it too hard. Ascertain. Uh, okay. The common questions they ask saferschools.co.uk are cosplaying and furries the same community? The furry and cosplaying communities are different, though they share some similarities with conventions and specialized costumes. So, yeah, they're... N okay, that's actually like kind of an obvious question when you ask people, you know, around my age or younger. They know furries and cosplaying are kind of similar but also different. Like, we know that. Okay, what are the risks of being in the furry community? Let's see. Let's hear what the risks are. The furry community claimed to be founded on building confidence and respecting the creative choices and expressions of its members. Wait, 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 wait. So, the furry community claims that its basis is to build confidence and respect the creative choices and expressions of its members. I agree with the last part of that statement. Yes, you're definitely respecting the creative choices and expressing the expression or understanding the expressions of the members. But building confidence? Now, that's a bit of a reach. Let's be honest here. That's a really, really, really big reach. I mean, I don't, you're literally in a mascot costume. Like these things could, any one of these could be a mascot for a sports team. I, I just want to see a nice big photo, but it's not showing me. Yeah, so any one of these things here, any one of them could be a mascot for any kind of sports team, but probably like something like a low tier hockey league would take one of these things as their mascots. I don't see how this builds confidence. That's not something at all. I, I stopped the vibe I'm getting at all from this. But hey. There's a lot of things I don't know. So let's keep reading. Let's see. However, as this group is spread across multiple online forums and platforms with little to no moderation, it carries risks for vulnerable children and young people that include... The idea of the persona can blur the line between real life and created reality. Okay, so I'm guessing it's talking about how, you know, furries have those Discord groups and they will literally go inside these Discord groups and spend their entire day inside these groups dressed up as cats or as dogs or as giraffes or whatever they are. And they won't do anything else. But that's the same harm that playing a video game carries i would say that's what i would say so that's not really that's not really a risk you know because like you can kind of immerse yourself into one world and come back into the other world so okay let's give them the benefit of the doubt there let's give them the benefit of the doubt part of taking on a fursona is adopting a subjective age so that means okay that's actually that actually is a danger because that's true right that's actually i didn't even think about that these furries here how old is the person inside this costume? We have no idea. They could be 12. They could be 60. And that's a very dangerous place to have people, you know, mingling together like that. Because if there's someone who's 60 years old there, that person needs to be fucking vetted very carefully before allowing entry. That is a risk. I actually didn't think I would read something like that, but that's good. Okay. Safer schools for the win. Even if interactions begin in, on a moderated online forum, the conversations could be encouraged to move to personal platforms with encryption features. But again, that's like 
any gaming Discord, pretty much, or any gaming Reddit page. You know what I mean? It's just... It could happen. You just gotta be careful no matter what. Do you think furries shower with their fursuits on? Asks Beatbox Battle. Honestly... I can imagine a lot of them have done that before. <laughs> if you identify that closely with something that, you know, that's like your entire persona and personality taking it to an extreme, I imagine people do shower with their fucking furry outfit on. They probably do sleep in their cat outfit. They probably do go to the grocery. Okay, actually, no, I haven't seen anybody go to the grocery store. In any city or country I've been to, that goes there in a furry outfit. I haven't seen a single one. <laughs> okay, so the next point is also talk going off the idea that there could be a pedo who's dressing up as a furry. That seems to be the biggest issue or the biggest worry when it comes to the furry community. It's that, you know, someone could try to take advantage of this for their own nefarious intentions. So, okay. And Safer Schools deems that it's normal for young people to express themselves through dressing up. Yeah. But it's maybe taking it to, to a bit of an extreme. 